the last thing is just a few words about the consultant groups. There's even some of you who is both a member of a consulting group and is here today. That's very good. Um, so uh, just find the right one. So a little anecdote just to start. Uh, during the time of the preparation of all of this uh, in, the, in the spring and the summer of 18, I was sitting, that sitting and thinking, oh, we, we need some, some, some way to make sure that the methods across all the activities is doing the same way, as the same high quality. So we are, we are really uh, not doing the same kind of systematic review or Delphi study or whatever, in very different way, uh, being from the same uh, or, uh, cost action. And while thinking about that and uh, coming up uh, with the idea of the consulting group, I got an email from Ricardo Fernandez. And, and he said, well, maybe we should need someone who can take care of telling us what, is, what is would, would be the, the right way to do this. Uh, so, so we have some idea. And, and just as an example, when it comes to to Delphi studies, there has just recently been published a paper in the Journal of Clinical Epidemiology, and there was actually an editorial mentioning the importance of being much more transparent. I don't know if you have heard that word before. Uh, so, so even doing consensus studies, we should be transparent and systematic. So maybe we should have some sort of a protocol, uh, not necessarily publish the protocol, but we should have some, some sort of a register or, or making it available, a protocol for the Delphi studies. That's just an example of that. So that's actually the very idea behind having those consulting groups. So that's another way of trying to figure out a way to make sure that we both have high qu quality, but also have some sort of an alignment between all the activity groups. So that's the whole idea. Uh, so it's actually a group of people. Uh, uh, sometimes it's someone who would very much like to participate in Everest, but do, do not have time. In one case, it was due to personal illness. In other cases, it was because of, of being very busy and so forth. So, so we have some people who would like to, s to con consult and help and advise and recommend the different activity groups uh, in the different working groups how actually to do this in the best way. That's, that's the very idea of, of this um, uh, consulting group. Uh, so it just um, shortly, you should know that we have a consulting group who is thinking about and preparing something re in regard to the Delphi studies. We have a group uh, dealing with uh, how to how to uh, uh, deal with the systematic reviews or the scoping reviews or whatever is needed in order to, you know, to inform the process of the Delphi. And we have a, a, a very engaged group, I can tell. I had a meeting with them on Thursday morning with, uh, with teaching methods, specifically, of course, dealing with the working group two, activity four, Hurun's group, but, but, uh, but also it could be relevant for other groups. It could also be relevant for what we are putting in the handbook, for instance, uh, that something like that. And then we have a, a, a consulting group of how to involve end users. Uh, end users is not only patient, it's of course patients, but it could also be clinical researchers and other stakeholders uh, we need in, in the different activities. So you should just be aware of this opportunity. That that's really a, that's really a service from those people in the consulting group. And some of the members are from South Africa, Australia, U.S. or Canada. So so we can easily have very good in information from this group. So please remember that. Okay, that was that was uh, well a lot of information. And once again, please do not hesitate to ask some of us. We are here all three days in four three four. A434. And you just come up and say, we have this problem, or we, can we do so, or what about this, and, and it states in the memorandum, so and so, can we change that, and all that kind of questions. Do not hesitate, please. <laughs>